Hey, so right now I'm parked over at the hospital and I'm gonna check out the parking situation as far as fees and payments and how busy it's gonna get uh, when I get here today. And uh, yeah, let's go to the hospital. Some suggested this should be see-through and should be um, more disposable, but I like the leathery feel and I put a nice little touch on my business card in front. Um, then I've got my portfolio, resume, letter recommendations, skills. Uh, I've also put a couple of um, resume uh, handouts to give out along with my business card right there. And I've got two copies of those, two portfolios, four resumes, and um, my own personal binder with some of my notes to ask, a couple of extra resumes and business cards. So I think I should be ready to go. I just need to make sure that everything else is filled out and filed correctly. I just finished my interview and we have 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have 30 minutes. And I think I spoke a little too long, but I think I made a good impression. But next time I'm gonna do a timing to make sure that I don't take too long on one question because it had 10 whole questions to do but nothing else so we'll see the letter at the cafe put it right there in the folder this is my interview notes um, yeah so I had a pretty good interview which I didn't talk so much they had 10 questions instead of the expected three but um, I had a pretty good experience so hopefully it'll be the same for the next interview all right, so that was the end of my first interview. And um, yeah, I think it went pretty well. Um, I was confident, I liked the way I looked, I liked the way I presented myself. They were very impressed with my leather portfolio. <laughs> I think it had a nice touch to it, very manly, um, sophisticated touch. They also liked that I had my portfolios and um, my resume separately so that I could hand out um, Different, I can hand out resumes to different people and give a couple of people a portfolio that they can look at while they're talking to me. However, I did not know that they were going to ask me 10 questions. I think I only got around to five. I even asked them in the beginning like exactly what our timeline was. And you know, I just mentally calculated that I needed like two minutes, at least around two minutes per question. But I just kind of went over and started rambling. And I think that I probably answered five of those questions so I was very confident and um, I had stories to tell and I you know I, sh I saw that they were interested and um, but yeah I could tell I was rambling on the longer answers could you know because their eyes would kind of glaze over or they just stop writing notes but um, when I would tell stories that's when I would captivate them so I'm definitely gonna start working on my stories but make them shorter and um, you know make sure I answer all the questions because if they have a point system, then I'm screwed. But um, I think I did a very good impression, but still, I'd feel a lot, lot better if I knew that I answered all 10 questions. Um, you know, there's three questions I 
per different styles of interview, there's the traditional questions, you know, tell us about yourself, yada, yada, yada. Um, then there's uh, behavioral questions like, um, uh, tell me when you've impacted a patient's outcome. And then there's situational questions where they're like, what would you do in a certain situation when yada, yada, yada. So they gave me one of those and I answered them, but I didn't know they had so many questions. I've never been in, in an interview like that before. So anyway, that's done. Before I went home, hey, Aria. Before I went home, I went to a cafe. I wrote my thank you letters, you know, which is good. I'm glad that they asked me if I had any questions. So I asked them how I can contribute to the to their organization, how, um, you know, if they were open to new, hey, that's you, yeah. Hey, Aurea. And they were open to um, collaboration and interdisciplinary communication. And then also uh, at the end, I asked them what their contact infos were so that I could send them a thank you letter. And I think they really appreciated that. So before I went home, I went to the cafe, relaxed, thought about what I did right, thought about, about what I could have improved upon. And then I wrote my, uh, excuse me, and then I wrote my letters of rec I my thank you letters, um, so then I could just kind of put it over my head and just get ready for the next interview. So, for the next prospect, I'm ready, even more ready than I am. But yeah, before I even started the interview, I went to the bathroom and I was like power posing. I was like, yeah. I mean, it was kind of quiet, but I was in the locked bathroom and I was like, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> my professor was actually told us to do that. Like I'm Superman and pose big, and you know it kind of worked. So. Till next time.